Hi, Internet friends. I'm Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday video, I want to show you how I'm going to draw, uh, raise this slab. Well, let me zoom in first. Right now, I've got the slab at the bottom of this six inch block. I'm going to raise it to the top to where this is level across here and then sloped in the garage. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to come up to first floor and select these three rooms. I'm shift clicking, shift left click, and I'm going to open those rooms and change the floor level, uh, raise it up 40, up four inches. So minus 44 is where it's at now, plus four is minus 40. Click OK and go back to section. Now you'll notice that the garage slab raised up to four inches as well. This right here is also flat. What I'm going to have to do is draw a um, invisible wall in the foundation layer, foundation level, uh, so that this can remain at minus 44 while this is at uh, minus 40. I have to do that because what I've done is I've raised this floor up. These three floors went up uh, four inches. And by raising those three floors, since this is all one room in the foundation level, this floor also came up four inches. So I'm going to have to separate the two so that we can... Um, have different, different floor levels then. All right, so I've drawn a uh, invisible wall so that this is all one floor level and then this is a different floor level. Go back to structure and make this floor minus 44. This way my um, My garage overhead garage door is at the right height. Uh, my plate is at the right height here for these walls, etc., etc. Okay, so that's set for that. Now I'm going to, um, in my section view, I'm just going to select this wall, this uh, concrete, and I'm going to raise that up. Let's pull it all the way to the edge of that plate and raise this up to the plate. And then I'll raise this up and tab while I'm doing it four inches in the Y position. Now that's set. I'm going to select my, um, this is my welded wire mesh version uh, line, four inches. I pull that up there. My vapor barrier. And just move all of this up like so, right? So then I'm going to drag this concrete over and break that line where this is level and pull the concrete to the, there we go. That's how you can show a, I, I got to clean up the, um, clean up the notes and, and dimensions and everything, but that's how you can show a sloped, uh, sloped concrete slab in an elevation, in, in a section. Now, to actually get it to show in 3D, want to do that? Of course you do. Let's take a section of this. Uh, 
All right, so I'm going to draw a polyline from here. to there. We're going to take this to the that edge and go this way. And then I'm going to find my slope angle right there, right? Yes. So that's, that's at the edge of that. And then I'm going to create this into a 3D solid. And give it a depth, let's say 60 inches. So there's my 3D solid. And we're going to take that all the way to there. I can break this and pull it over. And shape it around the, the walls. Now you're not going to see that solid here. You see the outline of it in the um, in the section that slope right there. No, but you will see it in 3D. Let's turn off that layer of the vehicles. Notice the, the slope of the angle against the wall over here. Sloping all the way down to the overhead door, sloping up to these doors here. And that is how you can draw a sloped slab in a garage. Um, I would, let's take a section of this, what I'm, what I'm, proposing that you do is that you drop this garage down to where it's its lowest point. Let's do this, pull it over here. Pull it to its lowest point here. Chief can only show you level and then you infill with a slab uh, wherever that is appropriate. I hope this is helpful. If you learned something new, uh, let me know. I enjoy the comments. Click like, subscribe, notification bell. And if you find it valuable, would you consider a small donation at paypal.me slash designbuildsolutions? Link is on the screen and in the notes below. Until next time, have a great week.